this is a patient asking about LDN in psoriasis. Um, so this patient wants to know about taking LDN orally for psoriasis, or they've also curious about LDN topically with um, psoriasis. And so in this situation, I would say if the psoriasis is all over your body, I think it's best to take orally. Um, there is some good research on taking LDN topically. I would say it does work best for like a pruritus situation if there's like an itch or something like that. But with psoriasis, I would probably suggest the oral formulation. I don't know if Stephen and Michelle want to chime in here about topically. I mean, you would just have to apply topically all over your body. And so I think it's probably easiest to take that orally and you'd get the better results. We're actually working with a consultant dermatologist in Scotland who's doing a kind of mini trial on this. Mm. His latest results, I think, were something about 70% of patients taking oral LDN responded for, for um, urticaria and uh, chronic problems for antihistamines and mast cell stabilizers hadn't worked. Um, but he tried cream in some patients and really didn't get very much response in plaque psoriasis. Or, you know, so I think it's probably an absorption issue rather than mm -hmm. an efficacy issue. And specifically, this patient says about um, using uh, 4.5 already in Aquaphor, and that's an ointment base, which is going to be greasy, gooey, and it's going to change absorption. And I don't think you're going to get very good absorption there. And a lot of times when we're dealing with psoriatic plaques, you know, a lot of times they want to use an ointment base, but we have found that there's such there's better bases that we can use specifically for, for a dermatological application whether we're using it for urticaria or a lichen or you know specifically hives it i think it has everything to do with the base but i completely agree it's not a replace topical is not a replacement of oral mm 